Okay, so a few days ago, I got a message on my YouTube video uh, where I was talking about the four gigabyte video limitation of um, the Apple iPad and probably iPhone as well. It's just an iOS limitation, I guess. Um, but actually, uh, for me, it already got fixed in the iOS in the, in the latest iOS version, but I got some questions about how to make it work when you don't have the latest iOS version or when it's not working for you. So I'm going to make a screen recording right now and I'm going to share you how you can transfer your over four gigabyte video files to your iPad so you can start editing with it. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you do is open up iTunes and connect your iPad or iPhone to the computer. You first have to unlock your device, your iPhone or iPad in order to get it recognized by um, the computer. After we did this, we are going to iTunes and we see the device icon here. And so you just click on that and go to file sharing. Then it says LumaFusion here. Uh, this is the editor I'm using. I just click on a folder here uh, like so um, here and I drop it into here and it's going to copy it and it's transferred. The transferring of files to an iPad or an iPhone is not that quick, so that's thing. That's one thing I don't really like about it, but it does work. So after you transfer the files to your iPad or your iPhone, you're going to the file app. If you don't have it on your phone yet, you can download it in the App Store. It's the official app from uh, Apple. Um, so we're going into the file app and I'm going to on my iPad and then I'm going to LumaFusion, and I transfer. I just transferred these into uh, LumaFusion, the 2020 plans, and the this folder. And if I want to use this footage for editing, I need to transfer it to the user media folder. So what I do, I just selected them by uh, clicking select on the right top and clicking on those. And I am going to yes move and I'm going to the user media folder. I can also make folders in there if I have uh, single files, but I'm going to just drop it there. And then it's in user media and I'm able to see this in LumaFusion. I'm going to LumaFusion just to show you how it works. Uh, so yes, uh, I'm going to the imported tab and all the files I just dropped in the user media folder are in here. So right now, you're able to start working on your project. So that was it for now. If you liked this video, if it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.